Jackson, why do you pee like a girl? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, yo, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got a few things going on. Yesterday, I went to upload my video and my internet just completely the bed. My upload speed was like one megabit per second. It was going to take like seven hours to upload my video. I got extremely frustrated, got on the phone with Xfinity. They tried resetting the network, doing everything that they could over the phone to fix it. And they weren't able to. Now today I got a lot of things that I need to do, but I'm kind of stuck waiting at the house because they're like, oh, we'll get someone out there tomorrow between three and five. That two hour time slot is two hours that I could spend doing something completely different. But here I am stuck waiting. And it sucks, man, because the internet provider I had at my apartment, I never had any issues. The price was great. I had one gig up and one gig down for upload and download speed. It was perfect. Unfortunately, they don't service this area, so I'm stuck with Xfinity. And Xfinity is the best provider in this area, but they're kind of so right now, I'm kind of just chilling with the dogs. I got these two lamps for the master bedroom, put the color changing lights in them. I had to keep them close to the router. Don't mind the cable management. That's gonna get fixed as soon as the internet guy comes and replaces this and does whatever else he needs to do. So I had to keep the lights close to the router to be able to pair them with Google so I can be like, okay, Google, make all lights bright white. There we go, we got those. Got the studio light right here, and then got a little lamp over there on my desk, all connected to the Google Home right now. Also, I can't remember if I showed you guys in the last vlog, I ended up hanging up these curtains over the door in the game room. I can't remember if I showed you this as well, but I also ended up mounting the TV in the corner. Now my plan is to get rid of this desk right here. I would like to put like a little couch there, a little casting couch. Still need to get a few more things. I'm gonna get some lights to go around the back of the desk, the back of the TV, the back of the couch whenever I decide to get a couch, but it's gonna look sick. I'm still planning on getting some new furniture. Lance's lease is up at the end of June and he's gonna be flying out here in the beginning of June. I think I'm gonna be getting his old couch as well as a few other things. But now that I basically got everything unpacked, the house is starting to feel more like home. Wouldn't you guys say? Jackson and Harley are both adjusting pretty well. Jackson's a lot more comfortable now, now that he has this crate inside and he can go in his crate when I leave. For him, I feel like that's his safe space. You just wanna play. You just always walking around, got your bone in your mouth. Always got your bone in your mouth. It's been a couple weeks since I've washed my car. I would like to wash it today. I haven't seen Dalton in a while. I haven't seen Bryce in a while because I've just been so busy trying to do stuff around this house. Not only that, it's also an hour drive. So I'm gonna make my way up to the meet tonight, but I need to get my car washed before that. Also need to like vacuum it out because in the process of moving and fishing, the floor in my Tesla right now, you might as well be at the fucking beach. So much sand, so much dirt and just shit in the car. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. And if not, hopefully this vlog will make it a little bit better. So I waited around until 3 p.m. today just for Xfinity to call me and say that they can't come until tomorrow morning now. So now they're gonna be coming between eight to 10 tomorrow. Kind of annoying. I waited around the house all day today just for them to call me and say that they can't show up. I'm gonna head up to the shop really quick, clean up the Tesla, vacuum it, do all that fun stuff and just get it cleaned up for tonight's meet. Why do I have the heat on? It is 90 degrees outside. We do not need no heat. All right, let's head up to the shop. Why are you always washing someone else's car other than your own? Mine's right now. Bro, you better be paying my mans for this. What I tell you? How much are you giving him? What I tell you? A handy. A handy? That's yeah. it? What I tell you? I, I said, make sure you. <laughs> you gonna use down. a little bit of tongue with that handy at least? <laughs> Sheesh. If I was you, if you're only getting a handy, just make sure you leave water spots everywhere. I'm going to. I would just leave water spots all over this fucking thing. I'll suck in swallow if you finish it. He's gonna finish you if you finish it. <clears throat> I think I might have asked you this before, but I need the answer for the vlog. Would you rather do the first 99% of the blow job or the last 1%? I don't know. Choose wisely. The first 99% or the last 1%? Yeah. We know what that last 1% is. Yes, we do. It's a tough question. Dude, I don't know. I might go with, oh, 99%, dude, I couldn't do that. Yeah, but you gotta yeah. think, that 99% could take an hour and a half, could take two hours. It took 17 hours. 17 hours, what about you, Dalton? I'm doing the first 99%. First I 99? I ain't swallowing nothing. He didn't even that, hesitate. Nah, there's no He didn't, he, he no, didn't well, no that's because he gives everybody the I asked you, no. I asked you so he had time to think about it while he was wiping down your car, so. I'm just doing all 100%. Like, if you're doing the first 99, you might as well just do the last 1% as well. Alrighty, got the Tesla all cleaned up, looking nice and pretty. I'll tell you what though, I am starting to get really bored of this wrap in this color, so I think we're gonna switch it up very, very soon. Last night, 
was a vibe, man. It was good to reconnect with everyone, see everyone at the Gapplebee's meets. We went out to Mexico for a little bit, you know, had a bunch of fun last night. Well, you guys know I replaced my check valves for my airbags. I've blown two fuses in the past month and a half, which isn't bad. But last night, I blew the last two that I had. I had to drive all the way from Sarasota down to my house, barely at my preset ride height. So the first thing that I need to do today, I need to head off to Walmart. I need to pick up some fuses. I couldn't go last night because by the time I got home, everything was closed. It was kind of a late night last night. By the time I ended up getting home, I think it was like 11, 30, 12 o'clock in the morning. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Head off to Walmart, get some fuses. The second thing that I need to do is you guys know if you watched the last vlog, if you haven't, go watch that shit. It did really bad. I don't know why. Go watch the last vlog. I ended up hooking into a monster snook and snapping my rod. So I need to go get a new setup today. I could just get a new rod, but I think I'm just going to get a whole new setup, rod and reel combo. So that's the second thing that we're going to do. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to go do some fishing. Like I said, I'm going to start posting a lot more fishing content over on my TikTok. So if you don't follow me, head over there and drop a follow. Let's head off to Walmart. I got my fuses. You guys can hear my compressors on right now. That's good. I, I stocked up. I got like three boxes of fuses. I also ended up picking up some of these gotcha plugs. I've been seeing quite a few TikToks of people using these gotcha plugs, catching a bunch of fish. So I wanted to test it out. I got that little three pack and then I got this one bigger one. It says on the back that the original gotcha plug is an excellent lure for bluefish, Spanish mackerel, trout, and any fish that feed on small bait fish. When fishing, cast and reel in using short, sharp jerks of the rod to produce a deadly swimming action. So picked up some of those because I had seen some TikTok videos of people catching bluefish, you know, catching a bunch of fish on these. Gotcha plugs, I wanted to test them out. Now we're going to head off to Dick's and I need to get a new rod and reel. So let's go there and see what they got. This is the new rod and reel combo I picked up. It's a Daiwa BG system. Got the BG 4000 reel. Dick's does not have a good selection down here and I needed something ASAP because I have nothing to fish with. Uh, I'm not going to lie, man. I kind of tested out this new rod and reel combo and I'm really not feeling it. I miss my pen. It's like when you have a car for like 10 years and then you switch to a new car. Like, yeah, there may be things that are a little bit better about it, but it just doesn't feel right. Like it doesn't feel comfortable. One of the main things being is that the rod itself is a lot shorter after the reel. So like I go to put my hand there and it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right when I go to cast. I might just have to go back to the pen. I might keep this a little bit longer, test it out a little bit longer, see if I can get used to it. It's very, very smooth casting. The rod itself also feels kind of flimsy, not as stiff as what I'm used to. So I don't know, man. We'll test it out a little bit longer, see how it goes, but I probably am gonna go pick up the pen. It was a Fierce 3 rod that I had before, and then I believe it was an HT100 reel. And listen, guys, there's gonna be people in the comments, oh, why don't you go buy this $800 rod and reel? Why don't you go? Listen, if you like to fish, you don't need an $800 rod and reel to go fishing. You can literally go to Walmart, buy a $30 rod and reel, and catch fish. It's like having a Toyota Corolla versus a Tesla. Yeah, the Tesla is nice, but guess what? It's going to get you from A to B just like a fucking Toyota Corolla would. But I got a headache. It's fucking hot out. 90 degrees. Need to drink some water. And also, I'm going to swing by and probably pick up the pen rod and reel. First catch of the day. Little tiny largemouth. Very, very tiny. Second catch of the day. Beautiful fish. I believe this is a blue tilapia. I'm not 100% sure, but dude, look at the color on this thing. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Third catch catching all the babies today. I wanted to give you guys a little update and let you know what's going on. So yesterday I had Xfinity out here for four hours. I've been having problems with my internet, my upload speed. I'm getting like one megabit per second upload speed, which is really, really bad. So for example, if I went to go upload a YouTube video, it would take like 40 hours. So the technician was out here for four hours. I guess there was some issue in the tap, which is like the main line that communicates with Xfinity. Just a bunch of technological stuff that you guys probably wouldn't understand. He's like, I'm going to have to create a service request, get the maintenance guys out here, check everything out. They've been out here all day today. Still haven't resolved the issue. Xfinity wanted to send another tech out tomorrow. I was just talking to the maintenance guys and they're like, yeah, we're probably still going to be out here tomorrow trying to fix this issue. He's like, I'll keep you updated. I'll swing by your house and let you know when we get everything up and running. But it's been two days that they've been trying to fix this. I've been having this issue for almost a week now. I can't stream. I can't upload on YouTube right now. So with that being said, I'm going to go out and do some fishing today. I ordered some new lures from Amazon. Amazon. Kind of going to do like a little series over on TikTok, testing out Amazon baits, stuff like that. I am noticing a slight little rain cloud that's kind of over my house right now. It doesn't say it's going to rain, but time will tell. Let's go fish. Dirty Dookie Dalton, my best friend. <laughs> I thought you were washing this thing. That's broke. What? The pressure washer's broke? The handle is. 
It doesn't work. Is it shooting blanks? God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. I need to go to Taco Bell and get me a new pressure washer. What the f is all over your headlight? My road's getting redone. Oh, is it? The whole neighborhood is, and they decided to wet it today. Yeah, that just filthy. My car's filthy too, though, so. I was out fishing, and I seen some dude at the gas station. He was in a Hyundai Veloster with a f ton of arrow on it and i was like yo do you know any car meets around here and he's like yeah i'm actually going to one right now it was pretty cool it was chill but the car was filthy yeah but yours looks clean mine don't i look like i took mine off-roading that that's a very valid point <laughs> mine looks clean from a distance if you get up close you can really see how and dirty it is. While Dalton is washing his car, I'm going through, taking the plastics off the Raptor. I'm gonna be looking at all the fuel lines and everything. I'm almost 99% sure it is a fuel issue. Everything else seems fine. Everything else is the way that it's supposed to be. And as I mentioned before, the four-wheeler did sit for three years, so everything that was inside the gas tank sucked to the bottom. More than likely is clogging up the fuel filter. There might even be a clog in some of the fuel lines, so I'm just taking all the plastics off. I'm gonna go through everything and see if we can rectify this issue. So I got all the plastics, taken off the Raptor, took out the fuel pump, looked at the filter in there. It's definitely dirty. This is a 2017. It's never been replaced. So we're going on what, five years now, maybe six years. I checked the EFI fuse. The EFI fuse is not blown. So the issue that I'm having, I think is solely based on the fuel pump. So I'm calling around to a couple places now, see if I can get a new fuel pump for this thing and get it replaced today. If not, I'm probably going to end up having to order it, but hopefully somewhere has this in stock today. I just got a call back from one of the places, OEM fuel pump for this thing. Six Six hundred dollars. I can get like some aftermarket one for like 200 bucks, which is probably what I'll end up doing. It's obviously not going to be as good of quality as OEM, but $600 for a fuel pump is kind of ridiculous. In the meantime, while we're figuring that out, we're also starting to kind of take apart the 6.0 for the BMW. Got a little sidetracked while we were waiting for a call back, but I mean, we're not doing shit else. So we were like, okay, let's just start tearing this thing apart. Pulled out the rods. None of the rods were broken. Heads of these pistons look a little beat. Nothing too crazy. The cylinder walls themselves actually Actually don't look too bad. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me too well. We got the fan on because it is hotter than a today. Yeah, overall, it's not looking too bad. Obviously, it's really dirty. I've mentioned this before as well. Mostly, this entire motor is going to be completely rebuilt, but it's not looking too bad this side anyways. All right, so we made some progress. Basically, got the whole motor taken apart for now. I mean, there's still some little shit. Got to drop the pan, all that stuff, but Dalton distracted me with what might possibly be one of the poorest financial decisions that I might be making. It's not 100% yet. I don't want to tell you guys everything. As much as I want to, I'd rather just wait and see if it goes through if everything goes well if it's a done deal then i'll let you guys know but until then we made some progress on the motor still got to get a fuel pump for this thing i gotta order one online all righty ladies and gentlemen that is it the tesla i spent hours last night putting it back to stock getting rid of this thing traded her in and got something new goodbye porky i'm definitely gonna miss this car i love this car it was my dream car i got it unfortunately i got bored so here we are